A Southern Kentucky police chief was sent to jail today when the judge denied a guilty plea. Robbie Gossett was set for a jury trial today in Pulaski County Circuit Court. He was facing a number of theft charges from an indictment last year. Gossett was supposed to plead guilty, but the judge didn't like how Gossett described what he did wrong. The allegations occurred eight years ago. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more from Somerset. Robbie Gossett will likely stay here until at least Friday. He was supposed to face a jury trial today, but instead Robbie Gossett wanted to plead guilty. But basically, the judge didn't like the way that Gossett explained his actions. He rejected the plea and sent Gossett to jail. Judge David Tapp wanted to hear more about Gossett's actions over the course of 16 months in 2008 and 2009. He was pleading guilty to counts three and four of the indictment under the charge of tampering with public records. The 17-year veteran police chief also had job duties of taking cash and check deposits from the utility office at City Hall to Fork Bank. It's not exactly clear what Gossett allegedly did with some of that money or what happened to it. Gossett simply told the judge that he made a number of mistakes in handling that money. It was my responsibility, you know, if I'd been doing due diligence, if I'd have been going in there and doing my job correctly that they'd wanted me to do for that, this stuff would not have happened. And him and Hawn around this question of your plea of guilty. Um, so at this time, I reject the plea agreement. Mr. Gossett is remanded into custody. Gossett's attorney, Scott Foster, did not want to talk about the developments after the hearing. Gossett also declined a jailhouse interview. Coming up at 6 o'clock, more on what Gossett told the judge in describing his actions. For now, though, in Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, now back to you. The plea agreement did have Gossett making a restitution payment of $30,000. The judge said that he will set a new trial date on Friday when Gossett is supposed to be in court again.